find yourself on this line? Puerto Rican. You're Puerto Rican. Your dad's Puerto Rican. Your mom's Puerto Rican. No, my mom's Italian. Your mom's Italian. Your dad's Puerto Rican. Right? So, where do you find yourself on this line? Puerto Rican. That's what they call you today. What does God call you? If you look next to Puerto Rico, you're going to see a name. Okay. Show him. Show him right next to Puerto Rico his name. You from the mighty tribe of Ephraim. You and your father, y'all from the mighty tribe of Ephraim. The Lord said he's going to come and deliver his people from their sins. So the prophecy said. You can only sin if the law was given to you to sin. Let me give you an example. I want that in some who the law was given to. Yes, sir. That, that sign right, right? there, look, bro. My, that sign right there. So, I'm going to bring it out to you plain as, plain as day. Read. Psalms chapter 147, verse 19. Read. He showed his word unto Jacob, uh -huh. his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. You hear that? You heard what he just said? In the book of Psalms, it was stated that his laws was given unto Jacob. Read that again so you can get the picture. He showed his word unto Jacob. Jacob, his name was Jacob, and then it was later changed into Israel. Israel is the father of the 12 tribes, right? So his name was changed from one name to another name. Wasn't, didn't he have a brother that was born with him? Esau was his brother. We're not focused on him. We focused on Jacob right now. And I'm going to show you what was given to Jacob. So what was given to Jacob was what? Read. He showed his word unto Jacob. Read. His statutes and his his judgments unto Israel. His statutes, which are the sub laws, and the judgments for breaking the laws, was shown unto Jacob. He told Jacob in the book of Deuteronomy 28, he said, If you fail to keep my commandments, I'm going to send a man against you whose tongue you will not understand. We're going to go to Deuteronomy 28 so he can understand what's going on. 28 and 15. You see these different things here? What is, what, what is being depicted here? What's going on here? Slavery, colonialism, one man coming and stealing this land of America, right? There's a lot of oppression. There's a lot of oppression. There's a lot of oppression going on right here. You see that? Who experienced it? Who experienced it? I want you to answer that question. Who experienced it? Give me Daniel now. I want you to know something. That may be true on what level? Major or small? Major or small? So have you heard of any other races going into slavery on slave ships? Yeah. Who went to slavery on slave ships? It's an evidence throughout the world. Who went to slavery on slave ships? Well, when you think about it, who do they always put it in your face that this has happened to them, that this is a tragic event that happened only to these certain individuals? Right. Now I want you to understand that that was a very tragic event. Now on that scale, who else has that happened to? American? That's our brothers. Uh, white man. I want you to bring that history. I want you to bring that history. We talking to the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, showing them their true identity according to the Bible. That's we have to understand how to get us right together first before we can even worry about getting anybody else together. You understand that? That's our problem as a people. So my brother, we're going to read the book of Daniel chapter 9 and 12. We're going to continue establishing the point that although what you're saying may have some validity to it, Nobody experienced it worse than our people. Okay? Nobody. I want you to listen to the Bible. Daniel chapter 9, verse 11. Yeah, all Israel have transgressed the law. So we all transgressed the law, meaning we have sinned. The 12 tribes of Israel read. Even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us. And the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God. You hear that? The oath which we had with the, Mo with the Most High God by way of Moses. He said that if you break my laws, certain atrocities are going to happen to you and your people. Let's read. Because we have sinned against him. Right? And he have conformed his words which he spake against us. 
and against our judges that judge us by bringing upon us a great evil. For under the whole heaven have not been done as have been done upon Jerusalem. Under the whole heaven. So where is that? Where, where do we find the heavens? The heaven is right above us, right? So the heavens is covering what? Covering earth. It said under the whole heaven, which means on earth. Speaking what happened? For under the whole heaven, under the whole heaven, listen, have not been done, have not been done, as have been done upon Jerusalem. Have Jerusalem, right. So what has happened to the children of Israel or the people who come from the land of Jerusalem? Nobody else experienced a worse effect than that. You understand that? We are the children of Israel who hail from Jerusalem. Our homeland is in Africa. We come from that place, that land mass, but where at exactly in Africa? Bible tells you, Jerusalem. You can read that in Galatians 4 and 26. We come from Jerusalem. The children of Jerusalem have suffered a worse fate than anybody in this earth as atrocities are concerned. I want you to go to Deuteronomy 28. We're going to go over some of these atrocities that happened then that's still happening today. Okay? And these curses are going to show you who is who. Right? Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. Everybody coming off the bus, y'all need to hear this important information. It's concerning your salvation. It's concerning who you are as a people and how to come out of these atrocities that happen to our people. Read. But it shall come to pass, if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, Read. to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. The curses shall come Whoa. upon us and overtake us. Whoa. What are curses? Are curses a good thing or a bad thing? Bad thing. Bad thing. Who do you find in the earth experiencing all sorts of curses? Us. Name some of the curses. What's some of the curses our people? <laughs> well, there are 37 curses that, I mean, the, um, um, 37 blessings and 80 something curses. So you can be cursed more than you can be blessed. Okay. And so when you, you when you look cursing your whole family can be cursed. When you look in the earth today, slavery as we were talking about, was that a blessing or a curse? A curse. Who's still suffering from the effects of that institution? We are. We are. That's right. Right? Those are curses. Continue to read. Read it, brother. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. These curses have overcome us. They have overtaken us, right? We find ourselves living in deplorable conditions. Read, continue to read. Curse shall thou be in the city. Right here in Chicago. I ain't gonna talk about New York. I ain't gonna talk about London. I ain't gonna talk about Africa. I'm talking about here in Chicago where y'all can see with y'all own eyes. Y'all can see with y'all own eyes who are cursed in the city, right? How are we cursed in the city? Do we live in the most fancy apartment buildings? Do we own our own houses? No, we don't. How do we live? Do we live in roach infested neighborhoods or roach infested apartments? A lot of us on a, 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 a large scale does. You may have one or two of us that's successful and they are able to move their family around to a better neighborhood. They think, but the curse is still follow them. Because that's seen as a nigga, something deplorable, something attested, something that they do not want associated with their people. Same thing happened with your people. They just say y'all light skinned niggas with an accent. <laughs> Y'all in the same boat as us. That's right, Bob. We ain't the only ones experiencing curses. Y'all experiencing them too. Yes, we. Curse shall thou be in the city. Curse shall we be in the city, the city of Chicago. And, and curse shall thou be in the field. And curse shall we be in the field. We cursed in the city because of our education. Right? We've been taught for so long by the Chicago public school system to honor this as our origin and as our beginning. Remember, what I'm speaking about is worldwide, but I'm being specific to the city of Chicago so y'all can know that I ain't just talking about something that happened somewhere else. This happened right here. So they told us that we were nobody before slavery. They taught you that you were Puerto Rican. What is a Puerto Rican? What does Puerto Rican mean? Bring it out. I'm asking you, what does Puerto Rican mean? Because when, uh, when you walked up, you said you're Puerto Rican. What, so, are you a rich boy? Are you a rich boy? Fuck no. 
<laughs> that, that's a lot that they told us. They told us we was a rich port. Now that was at one point in time when Christopher Columbus came over here. He seen that that was a rich port. That was a rich land. Puerto Rico was filled with riches, but they robbed it. They took all the riches out of it. Yeah, they did it wrong, right? And they calling y'all outside of y'all God given name. Give me 37. Read 37. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. Read. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. We ain't just here in America. You found Puerto Ricans on the, on the, in the Eastern Hemisphere. You found Puerto Ricans here, right? He said, wherever I will send you, you will be a proverb and a byword. This proverb, my brother, a proverb is a wise saying. You want to have something from the Negro, do what? Put it in a book. Puerto Ricans are country. They always carry knives or they are robbing. These are proverbs. Hey, yeah, oh, oh, oh. Oh. hey so those who were on bullshit, man, I ain't gonna lie. But that we probably get that from the tribe of Israel, bro. We're warfaring people. We are warriors. We in a war right now. We have to understand how to focus our intentions yeah. on fighting the good cause. Right. Yeah. We pray, bro. We ain't no we ain't, we ain't no punks. Understand that. Right. We got the heart of warriors, but we are miseducated to fight for the wrong people, fight for the wrong causes. Yeah. Fight for pleasures. Bring it out. Fight for yourself instead of fighting for your nation. We're trying to fight for our nation. We standing up here right now before the nation of Israel to bring them back into the fold. Oh, to show them that they've been lied to. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.